Hello, ladies and gentlemen. And, uh, well, we have a few things to question. Now, obviously, when you have people like this, you question everything. And this guy, you question a whole bunch. Um, now, there's a lot of people saying that, you know, maybe the trans transmi community, you know, they'll be protected or have that. And, ironically enough, I know not all trans people are like this. So don't get your, uh panties or boxers in a bunch because it's not what it seems all right so first off let's put it off with this is that um <clears throat> i see a lot of the trans activists or a lot of people that are becoming trans or what have you are going to uh mostly wanting to, to be actual true misogynists um because they are trying to take over female spaces they are trying to eradicate anything that is female for the most part and they're trying to um, be able to go into places where they can easily abuse women. I mean, we have seen this happen twice before, so uh, it's not really too much of a surprise that this would be going on. Um, not just that as well, we have this to where we could have, where kind of my, more proves my, our theory. Trans Army vet files complaint against New Jersey Spa after being refused entry to women's private spaces. He can always use the code ed section. Why does he want to be where women and girls are naked? The spa is used by teen girls too. Now, here's the key word here, guys. The spa is used by teen girls too. Um, so, here's the greatest, th greatest uh, concern here is, uh, why does it have to be teen? Um... Why does he know that it's also used by teens as well? This makes me want to be very concerned on to um, exactly why would he want to go into a building that is housed by teen girls when he's a grown man. He obviously looks like a man and there is no obvious differences about it. So there's that. Um, two, uh, the, I'm glad he was not allowed because I think he would actually do legitimate harm. So this, we'll go and direct into this article here, and it says Alexander Ali Gober, a male U.S. Army veteran who uh, defends as a woman, is suing a Korean spa in New Jersey for where guests are required to be nude and sex segregated bathhouses, or being denied access to where women would be changing and bathing. And the complaint failed filed with the state's Department of Law and the Public Safety on October 7th. Gober reported the August incident in which King Spa in Hosanna Plaza Park supposedly violated Gober's civil rights. Yeah, well, you don't have a right to enter a, a women's bathroom or a teen girl's bathroom among of a higher order of things, which makes me really concerned on to why you want to enter a spa with teen girls. That, that's a very disturbing um, thing to why you would want to enter that. According to the complaint, Gilbert was assigned a male token upon arriving at the spa and was questioned about having bottom surgery before granted access to the changing and bathing areas. Uh, on the spa's website, it is stated that if you are a if you are a case spa newbie and uncomfortable being nude, you could skip this bathhouse. For bathhouse users, you must be fully nude. The website also explicitly states that there are separate areas for men and women. And Guys, by the way, if you think it's a little bit weird, it, it it may be weird in, I would say, an America culture to where this is not really a norm, to where you just don't, when you go into bathhouses or what have you, when uh, you both uh, men in, in their obvious same, uh, same sex uh, houses or uh, dorms, what have you, whatever you want to call them, uh, th th that, they're, that they're all naked with each other in the same area, which is not, which us Americans would obviously find weird. However, in a lot of places in the Asian cultures, mostly I would more familiar with Japan, this is seems to be less of a cause. This is more of a common thing that happens in Japan. Um, so uh, it's it's weird for us, but in a Asian type culture type of setting, obviously this is uh, uh, a K spa, so which I mean I think maybe Korea. Uh, this is not, this is the norm. So it, it may be weird to us, but it's not then. It's, it's part of their culture, um, and uh, I I don't think it's, there's really a problem with it personally. Um, do whatever what you're comfortable with, and obviously they're giving you the option if you want to enter nude, if not. So. No, th th that's that's the least weird thing about it. It's just a, it's a culture thing. Uh, Gobert told the staff member that Gobert didn't, hadn't undergone bottom surgery, to which the worker responded by offering access to the co-ed facilities, which required guests to be clothed. Gobert wasn't happy with his compromise and complained, prompting the King Spa and Sauna manager to give a refund and asked the complainer to leave. 
yeah, why why are you angry about this? And why would you would not? There's a reason why this person would want to enter a a team uh, a t uh, a spa that ha houses with women and teens and gets angry about it when he can't go in. So, uh, makes you question it severely on what it is. Two months later, the former Sar army sergeant complained in the suit about the bullet business, refusing to come with a complaint, complaint so she could use, I want to say he here because that's what he is, uh, he, so he could use the facilities in accordance with the gender identity and request a compensation, including but not limited to affirmative relief and compensatory damage for coming to gloss, humiliation, mental pain, and suffering. You did not receive mental pain, you did not receive humiliation, and there was no economic loss for you. You are not allowed to enter a all-female spa that where you are a obviously you look male and you don't haven't removed your um obvious or your obvious uh um genitalia at all which therefore you it makes me think you have more nefarious reasons onto why you want to enter that spa than anything else so yeah i i say no uh, in Facebook post, Gobert recommended uh, a more gender accepting Korean style spa, which allows for transgender identifying males to use the same facilities as nude females. Why? According to Gobert's indoor spa, the island spa in Son and, and Edison, all guests, including transgender guests, have the right to access the spa in a manner consistent with their gender identity and gender expression. A female former patron of the trans exclusive spa told Reddix that the, that she that he and her and his friends were horrified to learn that his, that his fetishist is a female is a female bathhouses where ch where children as young as ten years old are allowed. Yes, so it, it's not just teen here, guys. So th this is not just a, like a teen thing here, right here, teen. Th this is also with ten year olds as well. This is a huge red sign onto why he is angry for not wanting entering a spa with his male genitalia, by the way, and be able not to want to enter a spa to where he can, where he can spy on children, literal children. We're not talking 15-year-olds, we're not talking 14-year-olds, which I would still deem them as children. Literal children, 10 to 9 years old or perpetually even lower. Yeah, no, no. Sorry, bud. You don't get the access to have. You don't get to have the ability to have access to children, uh, uh, any even teenagers for that matter. And even so, don't make me say that like they should be able to have access to women as as well because that is also a no. Because I can easily see, easily see uh, that uh, that that something very bad is going to go awry if he enters there. Uh, it fills me with a dread knowing this fascist is going to be there and wouldn't wouldn't know when and when I am never going to be there again, she said. I am absolutely concerned about other women and girls. My circle is mainly Asian women and everyone was horrified to hear about it. We won't be going there now. Yeah, he's, she, he's obviously causing a, a disruption in business. Well, it's obvious because women are not going to be safe or going to be remotely okay if there is a man with actual male genitalia walking around and, uh, and you know... Uh, and and uh, having the concern for their children and themselves. It, it, it's, again, as I said before numerous times, it speaks with nefarious actions here. I don't think there's any any remotely good positive action whatsoever. Why should a naked man be in there with a the woman at all? We don't care about gender, about his gender identity. He can always use a co-ed section. Why does he want to be where women and girls are naked? The spa is used by teen girls too, the women added. Yeah, exactly. She asks this very same bloody question. In 2021, a similar controversy occurred when in which a male who identified as a transgender woman, Darren Murger, allegedly exposed his genitals to a little girl and, ex and several women at the Los Angeles Wee, Wee Spa. While the complaints were written off as transphobic by left-wing trans activists, Murger was discovered to be a sex offender. Oh, what do you think? Oh, that's not a surprise at all. In June 2021, a video re recorded a Wee Spa viral. It showed women complaining about a new man in the women's section. The incident was dismissed as a transphobic hell act by left-wing press. I investigated and found out a sex offender was a suspect, reported the post millennials Andy No. Though, though Darren Murger is, is legally female through California's self-ID law, Murger is uh, currently being kept in a male inmate facility in Los Angeles after 15 months of being a warranted felony fugitive. The Fraser sex offender was arrested on December 13, 2022. In 2021, a video recorded at least followed went viral and showed that... Oh, blah, 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 we already know this. So, so, again, this goes on to the question. Why would he want to be in there? Is this guy a regular sex offender? This is the reason why I can't really go with the trans activists here. Because with them doing this type of stuff, it makes you really question onto why they want to enter these bathrooms with women and especially young girls. 
I cannot stand this type of stuff. And this is the kind the type of stuff that is really, really concerning. I think uh, most of these trans activists are the ones that want to enter a female place and sexually assault them. That is the only reason why they would want to enter this. You do, Okay, trans activists, prove me wrong. Prove me wrong. Because otherwise, there you have to tell me onto why he wants to enter there with uh, with his male genitalia intact, and why does he want to enter there with children involved? Because that's not okay, right? So obviously, this is something that you you this is obviously something that, that should not be allowed at all. Period, and. and it's a good thing that he was refused entry because I think he would have done some actual legitimate harm to either the with the women or God forbid the children that are in there. And lo and behold, that would have been proved us even more point uh, or point even further. This is why I do not trust these trans activists. I don't trust these trans people because and and this is a and this is a problem for tr tr actual trans people that are not. Are not are not actual threats or a thing to public to society. They just want to live their life. Unfortunately, you have these people that want to ruin everything for the actual trans people. They just want to live their lives and be and be let free. That's it. They just want to live their life and that's it. Whereas you have these people, they want to ruin it for all of them. They ruin it for the gay people and they ruin it for any other the actual trans people that are just want to live their lives. It's disgusting and this needs to stop. This is reality. Now, if you want to be a trans person and you are of age to do so, say 18 plus, I, would, I personally would rec recommend 25 because you're your full frontal lobe is fully developed and all of that, but what have you. If you are an actual legal adult and you want to do this type of stuff or what have you, then so be it. But go through the full thing, the full thing, even cut off your genitalia, you do not, you're not allowed to have that, and go through all the thing, or go through all that stuff, and you want to do it, fine. By all means, do it. But other than that, stop it. Stop going after kids. Number one for most. Don't force us to be a part of your ideology or what have you or say what you want us to say to you. And then two, uh, and then three, obviously, um, maybe not go into these places because I, I, I don't know what else to tell you. It, it, it's disturbing in the least. So, yeah, guys, that's it for the video. Like, subscribe, share. Very disturbing shit. Uh, and uh, hopefully we get past this insanity. Take care.